My name is James Williams Jr. And this is Comfort Havoc number two. So I was watching Crime Watch Daily like maybe 15 minutes ago and I caught the ass in. So Monday, I guess they're going to um, do um, some kind of special about a dude um, who may have died from messing with another man's wife. Okay, I want to address this shit and I'm going to piss off the lot of you. And you know what? I'm going to say this and you're going to get mad. This will probably be like the best response video I'm ever going to get. So I'm going to say this. So I'm going to make you know that you should probably brace yourself because my view and your view will definitely be totally fucking different. All right, look. I have probably slept with women who have had boyfriends, all right, that I didn't know about. And I will be honest, had I known, I probably wouldn't have went that route. It, that's the difference maker. If, if I had known, I probably would have left them alone. Because I've had dudes take my girl from me. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because uh, the guy that got killed, I guess, I won't know nothing until Monday, but the guy that got killed apparently was messing with some dude's wife. Now, if a girl has a boyfriend and she's not married, I kind of understand that a little bit because not knowing is not really the guy's fault. It's more the girl's fault unless it's the other way around where the guy has a girlfriend and he's cheating on his girlfriend with other girls. Now, let's say the scenario that they talked about was... The husband basically killed the new lover. And a lot of y'all going to think that the husband should go to jail. Well, on the other hand, as a victim of someone cheating on me, I highly disagree. Only I think that he went about this the wrong way. Now, I don't support violence against women. So, what I'm about to say is completely hypocritical. And you can take it for what it is. And this works both ways. If you are a wife and you are cheating on your husband and your husband kills you, that's kind of your fault. If you are a husband and you're cheating on your wife and your wife kills you, that's kind of your fault. Now let's go to the alternative lifestyle community. If you are a gay man and you're cheating on your gay lover with another gay lover or your gay husband and your gay husband kills you, that's kind of your fault. If you are a lesbian and you are married to another lesbian, and you're cheating with another lesbian or man, and your wife kills you, that's kind of your fault. Because let's be honest, cheating is not right. And we all know that love makes people do some insane shit. Many people have lost their lives on the suspicion of cheating. Alright, so here's my golden rule in any relationship. I'm not going to be trolling your cell phone or your Facebook or any of that other shit. Because I live in reality. And here's reality. If someone's going to cheat on you, there's really only two ways you can handle it. Only two ways. Murder's not an option, but, you know, some of us ain't gonna think clearly on that. We're just gonna do what the fuck our instincts tell us. So we're not gonna be thinking, hell, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You can be thinking that when you're sitting your fucking ass in court. Then you'll be thinking, damn, you know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. So, here's your first option. Accept it. And try to deal with the problem. Or break up. Which is how you deal with the problem. Or. You know. Go your separate ways by breaking up and not dealing with the problem. And asking what the fuck happened. Now. That third option of murder is never a good idea. The fourth option of beating someone's ass. It'll make you feel good in the moment. But again it's never really a good idea. But here's the thing. You know, no matter what anybody tells you, you can't stop someone from cheating. Men, I'm going to be straight up for with you. Women, this is going to be offensive, but it's your body. So here, here's to the men. If she's going to give that pussy away, it ain't a damn thing you can do to stop it because it's hers. And if she decides she wants to fuck somebody's brains out and that somebody is not you, guess what? You out back. It's just that simple. Now, you can accept it and deal with it, and y'all can either get into a relationship where y'all are swingers, 
and y'all have that one rule of you can only get pregnant by me. And that's cool. I'm actually open-minded to that, you know, because that way we know where our hearts lie. And like I said, my golden rule, if, if, I'm, if I get into a relationship where we're swingers, I only got one rule, especially if we're married. You know, you can't get pregnant by nobody but me. Simple as that. Now, if we're not married and you decide to run off and get pregnant with somebody else, okay, hey, cool. As long as you give me the heads up. Because for men, you need to know this. In all honesty, if a woman is going to cheat on you, she's going to be a little bit slicker. You're never going to see it coming. It's going to be a slap in the face. And some of us don't know how to handle that. I've been cheated on in damn near every relationship I've been in. So I have learned to accept it. Because if you love somebody, the relationship is worth fighting for. You will learn how to forgive people. And you would also know not to throw that shit back up in their face. However, could they do the same if the shoes were reversed? Love is a funny thing like that. So for you women, if your man's cheating on you, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna break it down for you. Again, you're not gonna like it. It's his dick, and if he wants to jam it in somebody else's pussy, he will do it. If you're not giving him enough sex at home, here's the thing, and uh, unless you get into a relationship with a bona fide cheater. Most men won't cheat. All right? I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, unless you get into a relationship with a bona fide motherfucking cheater, a guy who's been cheating since he started fucking. You know, if he's been fucking since he was like 11 years old and he's been fucking everything that moves and then you come in and think that you're special and he doesn't tell you that you're special and you don't meet any of his friends or you don't meet his family or nothing, y'all just fucking, yeah, he's fucking everything. No, it's just it's a simple. The way to keep your man from not cheating is simple. Fuck him. All the time. Even when you don't want the dick. Just, just take the dick. No. You want to keep your man? You don't want him cheating on you? Give him more sex than you can stand. Because eventually he'll either get tired of sex or he'll want more. And as long as he's getting it from you, he won't leave you. Now, unless something prettier comes along or something younger comes along... And y'all are having issues. Now, if y'all ain't having no issues, it's nine times out of ten, that motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Fuck him, feed him, keep him entertained, you know, give him a space when he needs it, you're good to go. But if you're hounding him, if you're trolling through his phone, if you're trying to find something, then eventually you will. So let's get back to my rule. Here's my rule. Simple as this. This damn thing right here, now I almost hit myself in the face. This thing right here, it's mine. Yours is yours. I'm not going in your phone because it's yours. I have no business there. If you're going to lie to me, I'd rather you not have me have to hunt for it. I'd rather you just be honest and tell me, hey, look, I'm talking to people on the phone. I'm just flirting. I'm not ever really going to meet these people, which if they're like in a different country, that's understandable. But if they're in the same country, it's questionable. So, you know, you, you kind of have to find out where you stand but for the most part you know if y'all live by the rules of respect then you won't have an issue but sorry playing this game if if you're going to do dumb shit oh i seen you talking to this dude on facebook now we got a problem or if you're a chick oh i seen you talking to this bitch on facebook she's sending you new pictures let me tell you something Girls send me shit all the fucking time. I'm never going to meet these girls. Ever. I know as ugly as I am, and as poor as I am, I'm never going to fly to the Philippines to meet up with these broads. Now, if I happen to be in the Philippines and meet up with these broads, they probably won't even recognize me because we all look alike. Or, if they do recognize me, there's still no chance in hell that they would sleep with me. Look at all this. And they were like, mm, you actually look uglier in person. So, you know, yeah, that shit ain't going to happen. But I will tell you this. If, by the grace of God, I am that blessed, it's going to be a threesome. Me, the girl I'm with, and that girl. Simple as that. I'm not doing no threesomes with no motherfucking dudes and no lady boys allowed. Thank you. But, you know, honesty is... I got... I'm a simple person. I got three fucking requirements if you're a chick. Only three. First off, trust and honesty are the most important things. Loyalty is another important thing. Those three things is really all I need from a woman. 
and lots of sex. However, if you, one, aren't willing to give me a lot of sex, then you can't be mad if I have to go get it from someone who's willing to give me a lot of sex. That's the honest, godly truth. A lot of people don't like truth tellers. There you go. Now, here's the other thing. If you're going to be trolling through my phone, which you really have no business in there, even if I'm your husband, you don't have no business on my phone. I ain't got no business on yours. I expect you to be honest with me. If you're thinking about cheating, then tell me so we can see what I need to do to keep you from doing that. Now, if you got a crush on somebody at work and we swingers, handle your business. Why did I say that? Because here's the truth. If you're going to fuck him at work, I ain't never going to know. Unless you fuck up and tell me in your sleep. Or if you just all out cut me the fuck off and start fucking him. And then, and, and then when I want pussy, you won't give me none. Then I'm going to figure something out. If we ain't had sex in six months, but you are right. And every time I want to get some, you're like, nah, no, no, nah, nah, I don't feel good. I don't feel good. You can't have a headache 365 days out of the year. And if you can, then you should probably go see a doctor. But if it's at the point where I only get to go down on you. And you don't want me to do nothing else and I can't stick my dick in there. I'm going to start suspecting shit. Which again, if, if you can't be honest with me, we can't be in a relationship. The most important thing in any relationship is fucking honesty. And to be honest, I rarely trust people. Period. In God we trust. All others we monitor carefully. I'm James Williams Jr. I will address this in a second part later when there's less people here. Be seeing you.